Hello folks, and welcome back to another video, movie review and thoughts on. I'm tired as you can see, or hear. <laughs> um, I just, I, I meant to review this after I saw the movie, like a day or days ago. But, and I was doing other stuff with stop motion. And other requests videos um but yeah I, I checked out a new flick that alexander daddario stars and a uh, amy forsyth uh they both star in uh, along with johnny knoxville who i know that name i don't i can't um recognize who that is though i know the name but pretty much it's uh, the movies We Summon the Darkness is directed by Mark uh, Mayer Mears and written by Alan Treza or Treza and pretty much it's a dark comedy or I shouldn't say comedy it has humor in it it's really a, it's supposed to be a horror throwback slasher movie I guess um basically three friends you have Alex uh, Alec Alexander Daddario and Amy Forsyth along with a, another one blonde girl uh, Val played by Maddie ha ha Hassan and pretty much they're three friends oh this p takes place in the late 80s eight, 1988 and I guess heavy metal's the hype or the trend at that time, or at it at its peak, so to speak. And they want to go to a heavy metal concert, so that's where they're driving. They get hit with ice cream on their window shield thing by a van, a random van that passes by. Then they meet, they go to the uh, concert, and they're in the or outside of it, and they see the van that actually threw uh, stuff on their window, on their uh, van, or Jeep, whatever, and it's three guys who, um, pretty much you find out they're pretty best friends, they're inspiring musicians, one of them wants, I guess, wants to go to California one day, um, and the, the three girls decide to invite them to hang out with them. Well, anyway, the two groups get together and they rock out due to heavy metal stuff. I'm sort of into heavy metal. I don't really mind some. I like rock music. I just, not really hardcore into it, but I like good guitar solos. Um. So, the two groups get together, and they rock out to concert, they decide to hang out more, they go to Alexa, Dar uh, Alexa Alexander Daddario's character's, uh, Alexis's house, family house, or home, and they have a little party there, they play True for Dare, and you find out, oh, these three these three chicks are, well, two of them are crazy. Because you find out, oh, uh, have, because, how you find out is that one of them, uh, asks, have you ever drugged somebody before? And, of course, they drink to it, because they're playing, and three guys are like, oh, wow. And then they're shocked. And then they're a little weirded out by that. And then they start feeling, you know, uh, groggy and weak. And then they they end up passing out. And then then they're tied up. And then pretty much it's these three guys, they got to, they're trying to stay alive. They're trying to survive the night from these three, well, two lunatics. One of them, uh, Amy Forsythe's character, she's pretty much the in-between. She's in the middle is this right to do? Is this wrong to do? Because you find out pretty much these... What Alex... Alex Desario... 
Alexandra and Dario and the blonde girl Val. You find out their characters are part of this convent group of religious people who believe killing other people. So it, you, you at first I thought when I, fought, when, I fought, when I first saw the trailer I thought oh they're uh, I don't know why I thought maybe they died because they because the movie at the beginning it talks about cult murders different places in the world and um they talk about this one talk about a couple of these murders of at concerts of different people and I thought maybe oh you find out they're all ghosts and we're following ghosts and you find out the end but no that's not really the case really it's two psycho girls coked up on their own religion that they got brainwashed to think oh if we kill people and repent whatever for god or whatever i didn't understand it and then you find like the dad you find out alcazaria you find out alexis the Dario um character alexis her character, you find out her dad is actually the, the pastor that you see on the TV uh, preaching, because he comes in later on, and then he dies, and Amy Forsythe's character, she's like the, um, you find out that, oh, she was a nobody, or she doesn't have a family, so she joined this convent of people and they brainwashed her but then she oh this is crazy and then it's funny because they kill like the one they kill like the one friend and then it's just the two guys left and then it's i wanted the uh the uh the one friend to live the uh what is his name there's the mark character and then kovacs I was really hoping Kovacs would win. I mean, not win. I was hoping he would live along. Because he gets shot also. Then he dies. He gets cut. First he gets cut, and then he dies later on getting shot. Because his, I thought his character was kind of funny. But sort of a hippie type guy. Down for anything, really. But yeah, I... I liked his character, then he dies, I'm like, wow. Then we're left with the Mark guy, which, I mean, he wasn't a bad character, but, and then the acting in the movie also is just okay. Alex, Alex, Alexandra Daddario's character, her acting, I thought was decent, pretty decent in what she usually plays. Um, the humor in it, I thought was, eh fine i guess some scenes were funny i guess like the one scene when um now i can't remember a, a, a scene i'm so tired right now but yeah i didn't the trailer again let me down a little bit because i thought it was going i mean it's action packed so it's like a home alone home alone uh movie if it was a horror movie with humor in it more um then it dealt with cult and devil war well they're not really worshiping the devil or in the name of god but you know i don't know this one's a mixed bag it there's like the acting again wasn't bad the uh practice there's really not really a lot of gore because only somebody gets stabbed or um, sliced or shot. Pretty much, pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a, I guess a time waster at best. I guess I should say that. I guess that's why you can call it as a time waster. I don't know. Maybe you'll like it because, again, it's not really a. It's not really scary. It's not like it's not like the strangers type of because it's supposed to be realistic because there's no, it's really not supernatural. Really, they're just 
people caught caught up on their whole or going overboard on the whole religion thing and oh we're killing people in the name of God and we're saving people but also we're murdering them so okay and then like at the end when um Amy Forsythe she comes up to save the Mark character or no she saved yeah she goes up there to save the Mark character he's choking out uh the Dario's character and the dad comes in her dad comes in and shoots him he's not dead though but the dad then chokes her cuz he cuz he's mad that you kill, you met you made a mess in this entire house how am i supposed to explain all this and so then he tries to kill her he's like we need to make sacrifices and then holds tries to choke her out and amy forsyth uh jacks him up a little bit <laughs> she I guess kills him, but or knocks him out unconscious, because it looks like she just totally cocks him in the face. But whatever. Um, oh no, no, that's right. He does survive because at the end you see his face on the uh, TV, on the news. Because he's my daughter was confused. Because then you find out. Because then uh, the Dario's character dies because she, her, and Amy Forsythe talk a little bit, and then she tries to kill her. Throws her out a window. I don't know how she survived that. Let alone, I don't know how she. They go in because the Mark character and um, Amy Forsythe's character. They go to the car. They drive off in the driveway, and then you see the Dario's character standing in her way, still bloodied a little bit, and they just decide to run her over. You don't really see it. <laughs> it blacks out. So I'm like, wow, couldn't get any good... I mean, you sort of get the aftermath and the ending shot. Because they, they stop at a gas station and um, do stuff. or buy, She buys stuff for him for uh, his pain. And then she drives off saying, we're going to California or wherever. Or no, he asks, where are we? She, she's like, in California. And then they drive off. And you sort of see some blood aftermath on the front of the car, so I'm like, I don't know how they're not gonna get stopped for, you know, you need to clean that off or something, clean that up, use soap or something, or car wash, something, just, cause they got like blood on the, on the front of the, there's like intestines hanging off of the front and on the car, I'm like, you didn't bother to like try to clean that up or nothing, nope, <laughs> but yeah, we, um, it ends on a pretty decent, rock song 80s type uh, beat song um i think it's called heart and soul i forget who is by but i like that song so i thought the song was decent at the end the acting is fine the effects again there's not really that much because if anything they're generic also it's generic deaths a stab here a shot there a slice there even at the end, we don't really get a big... Nope. Cut to black. So, this has gone on too long, probably. Um, I would say, I guess, check it out if you like um, Alexandra Daddario. Or, I mean, because she was smoking in this movie. As well as the blonde girl. As well. Oh yeah, there's certain shots where the camera was like looming on the on Maddie Hat Hassan, blonde the girl that played Val. There's like literally shots where it's just made for her to either bend over, or be in a certain position for the camera. I'm like, wow, who was the DP for this movie? Who was in charge of uh, shooting those scenes? Cause like, did you not? Okay, um, I'm like, uh, you copying off the of Texas Chainsaw Massacre a little bit? I guess, uh, the Dario also produced this movie, because I think I saw her name in the credits of also producer, so that's interesting. Now, it doesn't really save the movie for me, but, again, it's not a bad movie, it's not a bad movie, it's just a time waster. There's little hints, sort of, I guess, at the beginning, if you pay attention, of 
oh, they're actually crazy. If, because Daddario's character at one point in the beginning wants to listen to the news, wants to listen to the radio, and it talks about cult murders and all that, and Amy Forsythe's character's like, I don't want to hear this, and t t switch it, and they argue a little bit, and then eventually they change it. Could you find out, oh, maybe they, she wanted to know if they were talked about, really, because they, I guess they want to blame cults for, they want to blame cults for the murders, even though they're part of a, essentially a cult, but not really in her eyes, or her dad's eyes, I guess, or, I don't, so I didn't understand that part, they explained it, but I did not understand that. Now what I'm talking about, I don't understand. So I guess that just proves how not to say are they don't get their uh they don't even understand what their whole agenda is. I would explain it correctly. Um yeah, I, just, I don't know. Time waster at best. I would say watch it if you like eighty eighties throwback slashers with humor in it. Um, if you like Amy's Forsyth, I think, give it a watch. Um, or if you like Johnny Knoxville, maybe he's the dad. Maybe that's who that is. Maybe he's the dad character. I guess, he, I mean, he's in the movie, but he comes in later on. You see him at the beginning, and then more later, at, at towards the end, you see him. So, oh yeah, at the one point, the, uh, Lex, out of Daddario, Daddario's character kills... Her stepmom, you know, the stepmom, she's supposed to be all religious as well, and then she's smoking coke upstairs, snorting coke. I'm like, wow. Okay, but anyway, um, like the movie, or <laughs> like, the movie. like, comment, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching. Peace and love.